Hi, my name is Marsha from the Coding One, and today I want to go back to the basics and talk about HTML. HTML is used to create structure on your website. It tells your browser how to display which type of content, whether it's an image or a text or whatever. I imagine HTML as a builder because it literally creates building blocks for your website. In fact, when I first started Coding Blonde as a blog, I wrote a post about HTML where I personified it and drew him like this. Oh, creativity. HTML stands for, now don't get scared, Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext basically means that it's text that's displayed on computers or any other devices that contains links. And markup language means that there are markups, so pieces of code that tell your browser how to display a particular piece of content. Obviously, there are many types of content on a website, and these different markups are called elements in HTML, and they're enclosed in tags just like me right now. There's an opening tag and a closing tag. Let's actually look at an example. So we open a blank page on Sublime Text Editor. You can do it with any text editor. And the first thing we need to do is to declare that this is a, an HTML document. So we'll do it like this. Doc type HTML, woohoo. And in fact, let's just save it. So we've declared that it is an HTML document. Now let's put some brackets. Our HTML code will go in between these tags, you see, these ones. This is an opening tag, this is a closing tag. And the first thing we need to do is to create a head. Look at that, head. And Sublime does this nicely for me. I am a happy girl, body. So HTML documents have a head and a body, just like a person. So whatever goes into a head is, is not really seen on the page. Let's add a title. Coding Bond. File Safe. So if we open this page, so you can see the title here, that's what we've entered. And here it just gives me the address of the file um, on my computer, which is pretty cool. Let's go back to Sublime and let's do this. So this is one of the header types, there are six of them. You can choose from one to six. They're all different sizes. So let's do an H1, H2. Let's say, hello world, this is Masha. And let's do an H3. Just for the sake of it, we are learning HTML. So if I save it now and I refresh this, you see it and it's in different sizes because I've wrapped them in different tags. So these are different elements. H1 is different from H2 and so on and so forth. There's a paragraph tag, which is P. It's, it is so fun, la la la. And then let's enter a link uh, that will actually work. And we do that by creating an A tag. Whatever goes in here will be the text of the link and then we'll need to add the URL separately by creating an attribute. Don't worry about these things too much. Worry about the more about the elements and the tags just to understand how it looks. So let's say coding blonde. And over here, I'm going to put, this is the attribute that we need and it goes href or whatever. I don't remember what it stands for, but equals and then in um, the little thingy things. So why don't we put in my website's link in here. And if we do save this, when we refresh this, first of all, we have the new paragraph and then we have the link. And if we press it, it takes us there. Woohoo, this is my website. For the sake of this example, let's add a picture. So let's search for puppies. Cute puppies. This one's cute. No, this one's cuter. No, look at this fluff ball. Okay, we have to get this one. So view image, and then you have a URL address here, which is how we're actually going to add the image. And this is what we're going to do, image. And then it has the attribute source. You see this element doesn't have a closing tag because it's a self-closing tag. So if we save it, let's refresh it. Yee! So we've built this weird looking page with a link and an image and some text, 
but it looks horrible, right? Um, in fact, HTML isn't ideal for web design. And in that blog post that I wrote, I said that HTML does interior design like a bachelor. And nothing wrong with bachelor, just stereotypes. To improve the design, developers use CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheet, and is the language that we'll talk about in the next video. So to sum up, HTML is used for building websites. It's a front-end language, and in my opinion, I think it's the best one to start your coding journey with, because it's pretty simple, and you can see the results almost immediately, as you saw today. So I think it's a great introductory language. And all of the web pages are built with HTML. Here's an example of Facebook's front page. Once you learn HTML, you will easily understand how it's structured. In fact, you may recognize some of the elements already. There's a debate on whether HTML is a programming language or not, because theoretically it doesn't program anything. It just tells the browser how to display different types of content. And you will probably see a lot of people correcting me below. However, it is a language and it is code. So again, I would highly recommend learning it if you're new to coding. Code Academy has a great course on HTML and if you want more context, also use W3Schools. My camera has died, so I'm filming now here. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it has inspired you to get coding. You can find the link to my old blog post about HTML as a builder um, in the description. And if you want to watch my video about front-end versus back-end developing, there will be a link in the cards right here. I have a lot of cool things planned for you, so make sure you subscribe to my channel not to miss out on anything. And here's a picture of a puppy for those that share this video with their friends. Bye. I'm gonna be very cool. Look at my view.